Okay, so let's go to quiz seven, question two. All right, the $23,870 loan is to be settled by making payments of $6,962 at the end of every six months. The interest is 6.33% compounded monthly. All right, so we're to find a number of payments N. Okay, so 23,870 is the amount of the loan. And we could go and put that in as 23,870, and that's the present value. All right, payments are 6,962, so we go 6,962. We make it negative, and there's the payment. All right, and the payments are the end of every six months, so that means it's twice per year. So that means the PY value is two. It's there already, but we can enter it. All right, now the interest is compounded monthly. So we'll have to put in for CY, it would be 12. So there we are, 12, all right. So PY is 2, CY is 12. So now we get out of there and we're computing N. Okay, now the interest rate is 6.33, correct? There we are, 6.33, 6.33 That's the interest. And of course, we can recall the present value, which was entered already, 23,870. The payment, we can also recall that, and that is 6,962, as it shows right here. Okay, and of course, the future value would be zero because we want to pay off the loan. Now we compute N. Now N turns out to be 3.69, but the number of payments has to be an integer. Round off your answers to do N to positive value for all answers. Okay, but this number here has to be an integer, so we have to round it up to four. So we'll put in four payments in there. All right, but we leave this in the calculator. Now we have to do the amortization table. So for that, we go, remember, amort is above the present value, so we go second PV, and there we are. So the first payment is payment number one. So P1 is one, and P2 is also one. The balance is 17,673.52. Okay, the amount of principal that was repaid is 6,196.48. And the amount of interest paid is 765.52. 765 Okay, now the amount that was paid, the payment is 6962, so we put that in here. And that indeed would be the, the amount that would be, you could put in the point zero zero. This would be for the first three payments. So if we wish, we could put that number in these three payments right here. Okay, for the first three payments. All right, okay. Now let's go to the next one, second payment. So P1 is two and P2 is also two. There we enter and the balance is now 11,278.31. All right, the principal repaid is six nine, sorry, six three. 6395.20. Six, 6395.20. Okay, and the interest is 566.80 if we round to two decimal places here. All right, next one. So now it's payment number three. So we go and we put in for P1, we put in three. Enter, and we go down, P2, we would enter also three. The balance left is 4,678.01. All 
Okay, now let's see how much principal is repaid. 6,000. 600.30. And then the interest is 361, 361.70 because we're rounding to two decimal places. Okay, so the last row is what we need to find. Now remember, n was not a whole number. n was 3.69, something around that number. Okay, we could go out of here and we can recall n, and n was indeed 3.69. So this last payment will not be 6962, it would be something less. Now there are two ways of getting that. First, we could take this number. Now it has to be paid off. So if we took that number there and we put it in here, the calculator will give us the interest. So let's go back into the amortization table. We put in four for P1 and then four for P2. And then we go straight down to the interest and we get 150.03. This would be 150.03. Now, if we take that number, let's come out of here and we add it to, so we go 150.03 and we add this number here, 4678.01. We will get the amount of the final payment, which turns out to be. 4,828.04. All right, now the balance here will be zero, okay, or 0, 0.00. And with that, we hopefully we did it correctly, and yes, we did. Now this final payment, we could have gotten it another way. Let's go back into the amortization table, second PV, and we go down, and here you have this balance. Now it's showing negative, all right, 2133.96. Now I could stay right in there. It's an overpayment because if we paid this amount, and then we overpaid by, if we, if we paid 6,962, we overpaid by 2,133.96. So if we take this number here and we add, let's see if it will stay negative. We can add the 6,962. Point zero zero, and we will get an answer. If we ignore the balance, this word balance, and look at the numerical value, 4828.04, that is indeed the number we got over there. All right, now the, another way it would have been, we could go back and then we can just go through the mechanics of going through again and get the 2133.96. We could put that somewhere. And then if we came, came out of there, and we remember that number, 2133.96. So if we come out of here, and we go 6962.00, and then we subtract 2936. Okay, we could go in there and we subtract the 29. The 2936, uh, 2936 point, 2936 point nine six of it. Sorry, um, let's clear that out there. Maybe we just go back in there and check it out. All right, so two, it's 2133.96. So let's say maybe we store that in number one. All right, we should be able to get it back. So six, nine, this is the number I'm putting in here, six, nine, six, two, six, nine, six, two point zero, zero minus, if we recall one, there we are, but we have to make this positive or else we'll get the wrong answer. And there we are, we have the right answer. Four, eight, two, eight point zero, four. Okay, so that is how we do the question. But this value here, it has to be a whole number. So it, it should indeed be four and not 3.69.